On the state's biggest stage for the biggest game, it only took one player to bring the whole crowd to their feet. Good evening, everybody, and welcome back into Greer Today News, coming to you from just outside the Sumter Civic Center, where the Spartanburg Day School Griffins came on top over the Christian Academy Saints to win their second year in a row South Carolina Independent School State Championship. Zion Williamson, who shocked the nation this year in his athletic ability on the court, led the team in scoring 51 points on the night, and all six feet and eight inches of him towered over the offense in the paint, knocking down shot after shot and going up for the rebounds. Uh, I missed a lot of free throws in the Final Four and last when I, at our last practice all I did was just shoot free throws. And that's what made me get 51. The Saints kept the Griffins from taking off in the beginning only down by five at the end of the first holding Spartanburg Day School to 13 on the court but the Griffins took off from there coming back with 18 points made in the second quarter and finishing the second half draining 46 in the basket. Stick to our game. What we did to get to the state championship is what got us there of course so we just said stick to our game. We're not a team that settles. We're not a team that one pass or no pass and then score it. We just need to be a little bit more patient on offense. Get what we wanted. We had a play on the court that none of them players could stop and we need to make sure we took advantage of that. It was on this very court where Zion alone scored 51 of his team's 77 points, tying the total score from the Saints' entire team. With that in the books, it's no wonder why this junior has already been looked at by 20 different colleges. Has your mind been narrowing down a, a group of several colleges that you think would be a good fit for you? Um, not right now. Uh, I'm going to focus on that during AAU season when college coaches are talking to me the most. If you saw Zion warming up on the court, you would think you were at an NBA game with all the cameras, fans wanting pictures, videos, and cheering him on, and all the extra standing ovations he gets. How he handles that publicity, you might ask. He says it's all thanks to his team and family. To my school, Spartanburg Day School, um, my coaches and my family, uh, they help me deal with this publicity, like taking pictures after games and just keep my head straight. I knew he would be special. He's a kid that works really hard every moment he gets. If he has a weakness, he tries to work on it. So I knew he was going to be special. I didn't know that America would react like they have with him. The thing I'm most impressed about is how humble he is and how he's handling all of this. Zion's only in his junior year and says he will remain at SDS for his senior year. Yet even with that season months away, he says in just a couple days, it's time to get to work. Probably take two days off and back to business. <coughs> Before, I couldn't weight lift as much because I didn't want to be sore for my games, but now I'm probably just weight lift three, four, four out of the five days in a week. And Two, or two hours, two and a half hours in the gym every day. The Spartanburg Day School Griffins have been one of the top five teams in the state this year, and Zion Williamson has been one of the top five players in the nation this year. But talking to head coach Sartor afterwards, he says he couldn't be more proud of his boys for being successful, but always staying humble. It was their goal from the very beginning. I just made sure I tried to keep reminding them of it and to make sure that they were working hard towards it, to make sure that they were doing uh, the things they needed to do to prepare for it, you know, the practices, uh, working hard fundamentally on defense, and securing on offense. I, and uh, I'm so happy we were able to accomplish our goal. For all the latest updates in high school athletics, log on to greertoday.com, and don't forget to follow us on social media, Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, and Instagram. Coming to you from Sumter, South Carolina, I'm Alex Love reporting for Greer Today News, and from all of us at greertoday.com and around the community, thank you for watching.